Hi, my name is Victor Huang. I'm a longtime civil rights attorney in San Francisco. I'm running for an open seat on the San Francisco Superior Court bench. This November, when you go to vote at the polls, you'll see a lot of candidates and many ballot propositions that you'll have to consider. But for some of you, you may have never voted before for a San Francisco Superior Court judge. So what are we looking for in a judge? We're looking for somebody who can be fair and impartial, somebody who brings a balance of perspectives to the bench. We're looking for somebody who has the qualifications, who has extensive trial court experience, so they know what to do when they're sitting up there on their bench. And we're looking for somebody who's above the fray of politics. I've served the community for 24 years as a public interest and community attorney, and I look forward to the opportunity to continue to serve our community as a judge here in San Francisco. The Bar Association of San Francisco, a neutral and professional organization of attorneys, conducted an independent review of both candidates in this race. They interviewed judges, attorneys, witnesses, parties, court staff, all of the public defenders and DAs in our county. After conducting their review, they concluded that I was best qualified to serve here as a judge in San Francisco. In fact, they awarded me their highest possible rating of exceptionally well qualified to serve as judge, the first time they've done so in 20 years. The findings of the Bar Association are echoed by endorsements from the San Francisco Chronicle, the San Francisco Examiner, the Bay Guardian, and Sing Tao Daily. I've also received a wide array of endorsements from across the political spectrum, groups such as the San Francisco Democratic Party, neighborhood Democratic clubs, the Green Party, log cabin Republicans, and support from labor and housing rights groups. By way of background, I grew up as the child of immigrant parents who immigrated to North Carolina, of all places, to study. They told me stories of growing up in a segregated environment where they stood in lines, not quite sure whether they were colored or white. My mom ended up becoming a librarian. My dad became a professor. But their early experiences instilled in me the need to stand for justice and the call to serve the community. And that's what I've done for 24 years as a community civil rights attorney. For four years, I worked as a public defender in Los Angeles, where I tried 50 cases to jury verdict, ranging from simple misdemeanors up to a homicide case, a case of a 16-year-old boy who the state decided to try as an adult. For five years, I worked in San Francisco for a civil rights federal litigation agency, and I litigated cases to protect the rights of individuals living in public housing, victims of police misconduct and racial profiling. And I was part of a national litigation team to serve individuals, immigrants, children, disabled and seniors who were being targeted by the 1996 welfare reform law. For eight years, I worked for a nonprofit legal services agency where I served victims and survivors of domestic violence and human trafficking. Each week, I went to court representing women and children fleeing abusive situations who needed help with restraining orders, with support, and child custody issues. For the past six years, I've worked as a DA for the city and county of San Francisco, leading their civil rights unit in prosecuting cases of hate crimes, human trafficking, and sexual assault. I've tried 30 cases, mostly serious and violent felonies, and many high-profile cases, cases involving a group of skinheads who attacked two Mayan dishwashers in the Tenderloin, stomping them in the middle of the street while telling them to go back to Mexico and using racial epithets. Cases such as the uh, white supremacists who attacked a African-American panhandler in the Western Edition, cutting his face open with a Nazi switchblade and leaving him to bleed out in the street. Cases such as a citywide investigation into human trafficking in our city that I led along with the FBI, the US Attorney's Office, in the Mexican consulate. My 24 years of experience allows me to be the most qualified and experienced candidate in this race. And I would bring a balance of perspectives as somebody who's tried cases in both our civil courts and our criminal courts, and in the criminal courts as both a public defender and as a DA. This November, when you go to vote, please remember to vote in the judicial election and please vote for Victor Wong for San Francisco Superior Court. Thank you.